him after yesterday. He said you'd check him out again today. Yeah, he, uh, he did everything at training today and felt pretty good. So uh, we'll make a decision here, uh, you know, leading up to the game tomorrow. But he said he felt good. Okay. What, uh, if any, is the implication of playing the same team, I think, four times now in three months? Uh, San Jose? Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, that's just the way the schedule is. You know, you, you'd wish ideally that uh, the games would be spread out, you know, because some teams, uh, you know, I think San Jose hasn't played Portland at all yet this year. You know, so you wish teams are, get teams, you know, sometimes you get them when they're in a good run, sometimes in a bad run. If you play them bunched together, you might play them in a, in a good run a couple of times or in a bad run a couple of times. So, so there's a benefit or a negative to it. But, uh, you know, I mean, uh, that's where our league's always been. You know, it's not a balanced schedule in that regard. Uh, it's not where it's spread out. The games are spread out, so that's just part of it. What are your thoughts on uh, San Jose with their uh, stars like Wondolowski and Bush, yet they have a lot of injuries at the same time? Uh, you know, I mean, obviously they're a team that's battling right now, trying to make their way into the playoffs. I'm sure they're going to have a chip on their shoulder from their last game. They're not happy about that. Wondolowski, you know, I'm sure he's He's going to want to make amends uh, because, you know, that's not what he normally does uh, in, uh, in terms of that miss right before halftime of the PK. But he's a, he's a quality player, so he'll rebound. You know, Bush uh, played very well against us the last time we were down there in San Jose, and uh, hopefully it won't quite be quite as sharp this time. What have you learned about Perez Garcia, kind of their, their new guy, their new signing? Uh, you know, I mean, obviously he's a, he's a left-footed player. He likes to play, as the Argentinians call it, an enganche with a little bit of a free roll behind the forward. So he pops up in different parts of the field, sometimes on the left, sometimes on the right. Scored a great goal against the Galaxy on the counterattack. He's got a good shot. You know, he's quick. Uh, you know, so we have to be aware of it. I don't think we've asked you about the Allen Gordon move. How did you think that affected really both? It changes the Quakes, but also the Galaxy. Well, you know, I mean, obviously the Quakes are <clears throat> looking not only at this year but next year, so I think that's more a, a trade that uh, takes into account, you know, where they're trying to go as a club and what direction of soccer they want to play. Uh, Alan Gordon is somebody who's familiar with the Galaxy. I was, I was the one who drafted him in 2004 uh, back at the Galaxy uh, back then, and then I got let go and we had loaned him out, or he was with Portland at the time, I think. And uh, <clears throat> when they were a USL team, so I mean, he gives them something. Obviously, they haven't been pleased with Rob Friend's contribution off the bench. Uh, they let Samuel go, so uh, you know, for them, I think he provides that, that forward presence with some size and strength that can come off the bench for them.